Catherine Macaulay's call to live mercy requires a response to need whenever, wherever present. Contemporary challenges invite us to redefine ourselves as sisters and brothers living within the sacred earth community. Our response to needs must be framed within God's cosmic web of life given in sacred trust for the common good. Given our evolving call as mercies in the sacred earth community, the land we live with and on requires us to live out of a land ethic that understands that the cosmos is a place of God's self-revelation. Thus, a contemporary theology and ethics of land requires a paradigm shift from a human-centeredness to God-centeredness, enlarges the boundaries of community to include soils, waters, plants, and animals, or collectively, the land. shifts our understanding from land as an economic commodity and ownership to land as a sacred trust given by God requiring our respect, responsible engagement, and care. looks beyond seven generations in decisions made about land and property, realizing that care of the economically poor must be rooted in a place, that the natural world offers life through food and water, that earth inspires the spirit and teaches about God, that land is home for all beings, within a world increasingly commodified and suburbanized. Realizes that the voiceless includes the poor of all species and the ecosystems which must be considered when making decisions about land. considers the ethical land premise subscribed by Aldo Leopold in a Sand County Almanac in making decisions about land and property. A thing is right when it tends to preserve the integrity, stability, and beauty of the biotic community. It is wrong when it tends otherwise. Practices conservation and restoration of land through food production, management of wild spaces, and healing and rehabilitation of diminished areas. Utilizes land trusts, land conservancies, open space, and other methods, when possible, to care for Earth for present and future generations. Sees our mercy stance in the world as one intimately tied to land, no matter whether we live in a city or in the country, we will live creatively and productively within the sacred earth community, balancing mercy, communal, economic needs, and the needs of the earth community. A compassionate mercy response continually holds the interrelationships within the entire web of life when responding to needs wherever and whenever present.